Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through a little walkthrough. Uh, Act 8, Chapter 2, Quest Number 5, called Prism. All right, now you see the team I'm going in here with, and I'm going to show you the easiest path, or the path that I consider to be the easiest. Okay, now one thing I want to make clear. The easy path may not be easy for you based on your roster. So whatever path you choose, make sure your roster can handle it. So in this uh, video, we're going to be taking this path here, siphoning strength, power armor 2, occult equilibrium, armored assault, armor break immunity. Okay, most of these I ignored. All right, the thing that I liked was that siphon, siphoning power. So if you have Black Widow Clairvoyant, this path is made for her, okay? She can do this path beautifully. Uh, if you're running the Ouchie Masteries, cycle through, go back and stay in blood. Curse of Blood is your bread and butter, okay? Now, we're not gonna use uh, Claire for the entire path because I brought some others so that you could see that you could also do this with some other champions. Okay, but Claire by far is the best. Even a five star Claire can do this. Um, I would say she would need to be rank five just so you don't take a whole bunch of block damage and the fight doesn't last long enough uh, or too long. So with Claire, you'll notice that even though they're going unblockable, she is nullifying it. When they get that armor up, she's nullifying it. And if you have Mystic Dispersion, all of that will be feeding her Mystic Dispersion. And she will be a terror on this path with some Mystic Dispersion. I'm not running Mystic Dispersion at all, and you can see that she's doing quite nice. Okay? Once you get those Furies stacked up, she's crazy good. Okay? Um, one of the things that I know a lot of people, she has a lot of utility, but people talk about her damage. Well, on this path, when she gets those Furies, she's got the damage. And as you can see, she's doing the power draining. She's now maxed out uh, at the Furies because you get 10 Furies max. And bam, that fight's done. Didn't take that long. Okay, I don't like long fights, but that fight didn't take that long. Now, obviously, if you're not running the Ouchie Masteries or you're using a five star, it's going to take you a little bit longer. That took about a minute and a half. That's about what you can expect. We're dealing with some, uh, you know, beefy guys, right? So the next fight is Vulture. So this time I didn't go in with Black Widow Clairvoyant. I wanted to show you that. Uh, Dr. Doom can do it. Now, the reason that that happened is because they have an armor up from the start. Okay? And that armor up made him unblockable. So that is really annoying. Um, but Doom can still do it. Now, because I'm running the Ouchie Masteries, um, using the Doom Cycle and all of that is not the best. But I did want you to see, in case you have Doom, that you can do this path with Doom. Okay? So you want to try to keep his staggers up. You can nullify, as you know, with Doom. All right? Now, here's uh, the Doom cycle I'm trying to, to do here. And you'll see why I said what I said. All right? So we got medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, bam. Special one, snatch the uh, damage. But you see that he is um, uh, unblockable. So I couldn't bait out um, his heavies or, or anything like that to keep him with a lot of health. But, you know, you can still play around that. Okay? You can get your ends because, of course, as long as you can intercept or punish their specials or heavies you'll be able to um, doom slap him, okay? So here we go again. And 
we can do the same thing once again. Okay, so Doom works not as well as Claire, in my opinion, but he does work. And of course, the more Furies you have, the more damage he can do. Okay, so just doing the Doom cycle. There we go. Bop. And at this point, special two. Get douchey. And done. Okay, not too bad. Uh, but if you're running the Ouchie Masteries, you have to accept that you're going to be using up a lot more health. And so you're probably going to end up using more items. All right, so Doom also works for this path pretty well. All right, and, and the fighters, the, the defenders are not that bad. They really aren't. Uh, as long as you know how to fight these guys, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Um, but I didn't see any major roadblocks here. All right. Now I'm using Wiccan. Now I'm still learning Wiccan. All right. But one of the things that I'm trying to do with Wiccan is I want to keep up his stagger. Or, or rather his neutralize. Okay. And look at this. This is really nice, okay? Anytime they try to, to generate a buff while the neutralize is on, and see, I didn't have it up in time there, um, they take damage, okay? But again, I don't really use Wiccan, so I'm still learning him, okay? And I'm getting a little bit better at uh, using him because a lot of times I get hit because I'm looking up trying to you know, manage the, the neutralize and, and all of that. And then I'm not fighting, but rather trying to manage. So as you can see here, he's doing a decent job. Uh, but again, the ouchie masteries, he didn't seem to play very nicely with them. So he's probably not going to be one that I use a ton, but just look. Okay, now there, I messed up. And look at this just wreck me just wreck me and that's that for wicked that was my fault okay she gained a lot of uh power and i panicked and i tried to back off and she pounced and got to her special three and at that point it was it was over with okay so that was my fault but again claire rocks this path this path is made for her. Um, there was one fight, and we'll see it, that was a little bit challenging, but was not that bad. But as you can see, she makes things pretty easy. You know, the unblockable, gone. She can power drain them. She gains her furies pretty quickly. And she's just really, really good for this path. Um, she's not, let me see. Yeah. Even the five star. Now this fight here, I was pretty confident because of course Colossus has a lot of armor ups, but they're buffs. So she can neutralize them. So that meant that this fight was really good. But again, he started with, um, an armor up. And so he started unblockable, but when you hit Claire, you're going to get nullified as well. So he was hitting me, but his armor ups were getting nullified anyway. So I'm like, okay. And then I power drain, got my health back, and we're back in business. Good to go. So not too worried about Colossus. She does a great job against Colossus. Uh, you guys that remember when I used her in war at a time where people were um, placing Colossus on path three, section two, that node right there. Um, she was like the best counter for that. And still is. Uh, she's bleed immune in Curse of Blood. And so she can handle anybody that, you know, puts a bleed on you. She's just a, a really good uh, utility champion. And with these 10 Furies... She does really good damage, along with, of course, my um, Ouchie Masters. All right, so we're about to get him down here. And there we go. 
hand up, and she finished with full health, despite the fact that she got hit right off the bat. So she also saves a lot of items. So I, I love using her. All right. Where did I go after this? Um, I think, yeah, I think it was Heimdall. Heimdall can be a pain sometimes because his special two. Now, leave a comment if you know how to evade his special two. Because I have not been able to do it. And someone said that you can parry it or something to take reduced damage or something like that. But what I like to do when I'm fighting him is basically stay away from the special two and just uh, fire off the special, um, uh, evade the special one. Now, as you saw there, the reason that I pushed him to a special two is because I was close to my special two. And I knew that I would power drain. Okay, so that's the only reason. But I try to bait out his special ones as much as possible. All right, so as you can see here, look at this. Those Furies really, really help a lot uh, with her damage. He's already less than half health. Very, very quick. Okay, and then here we go. And drained it right on down. Don't have to deal with that special. Love it. So basically, bait out the special one until you're close to a special two, and then you can go ham. Down he goes. So not too much of a problem for Claire. Um, but again, you can do this fight with other um, nullifying champions, other mystics. This is the fight that I was talking about before that was a little tricky because... He's a pain. He is just a pain. And when I went into this fight, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a problem with him. I just know it. I shouldn't, but I'm going to have a problem with him. I know it. I just know it. Because when I face this guy, shenanigans happen. Either I get hit with his special uh, two when I've evaded it countless times, or I just started getting hit with his special one, you know? Something. But in this case... What I was foreseeing when I went into this fight was the fact that they go unblockable. So if I don't time it just right, he'll be unblockable for his specials. And while I can evade his special two, I can't fully evade his special one. So I could already see potential for issues. But we're chewing him down. And uh, there you see we got the unblockable, but so far we're doing good. Now, look at this. Why didn't that um, nullify it? So I'm like, oh, no. Here we go. And then now I can't even evade, um, intercept him. Okay, there we go. Look at this. He's not getting evaded. I mean, he's not getting nullified. Now, see? I was able to evade that. But they're not nullifying. Look at this. No nullification. What's going on? I, I don't understand this. Okay? So he's... Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Because he's still unblockable. I told you, I, I just had a premonition that something was going to go. And then that happened because I thought I was at a special two. I thought that was a special two. And I was just shy. And I'm like, okay, now look at this. I'm losing health like crazy. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it back. He's still unblockable. Look at this. I'm not nullifying. And down she goes. So that kind of annoyed me. I I'm sure it's probably something with um, Green Goblin's kit that I don't know about, but uh, or one of the nodes that I just wasn't um, remembering. But that was so annoying. And I was just like, wow, wow. You know, so even with my timing, timing was going well, I wasn't getting the uh, nullifications. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Okay, so you see there. Now that, that was good. Nullified. Okay. And so here, I just want to bait this out. And then I want to get the doom cycle going. Okay. And uh, doom again can do all of these fights. Um, I still think Claire is better. I just don't know what was going on right there. 
Um, that that kind of caught me by surprise. Okay, and then this also did. What just happened? Why 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 did I not get the mana that I was supposed to? I mean <laughs> mana. Um, why did I not get the uh, power? That doom cycle. It, it something with green goblin. I don't know, or the node. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the interaction. Uh, leave a comment if you guys know what's going on. Because I tried the doom cycle and I didn't even get to a bar of power. Um, was that the um, node? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, but anyway, we got done. At least. Very annoying. Okay, now. Path is done. And I'm going to tell you this. Do not do this boss that I chose for your initial clear. Okay. The boss that I chose was Penny Parker. And of course, if you have a good option, she's not hard. Um, Hulkling is a great option. A great counter for Penny. Um, Hercules can do it as well. Okay. Um, but as I was exploring, the easiest boss is, if you have the right counter, Kitty Pride. And who's the easiest? Infamous Iron Man. Rocks Kitty Pride. If you haven't seen me do it on the live stream yet, go take a look. But Infamous Iron Man rips her. Two two special twos. And she was done. Fast, too. Very quick. Okay? The other is Nimrod. Now, my Nimrod was only rank three. Sig, like, 50. I think it was 52 or something like that. And um, he rocked her as well. Just took a little bit longer. But my Infamous Iron Man is rank five sig 200 and he tore her up so if you have infamous iron man even as a five star or nimrod even as a five star she uh kitty pride is your best bet but i went with penny parker and i went with hercules because i wanted to see if hercules could do this fight spoiler he can however he didn't um so fighting her, if you know how to fight uh, Penny Parker, that's all you see me doing here. Get her shield down, um, and then you're, you're, you're fine. But you have to keep getting her shield down. All right, see the sink shield? So at this point, I'm trying to wait for her to go back, and she's not going back. She's being aggressive, all right? So, all right, she went back that time, so we're hitting into the block. As you can see, Hercules is not fully ramped up, and he is tearing down her shield pretty quickly, okay? Boom, look at that. If my Herc had been ramped up, this fight would have gone a whole lot smoother, okay? But I didn't ramp, her, uh, ramp him up, and I just was curious. So you can see how a unramped Herc going into this fight does okay so it's a little slow going because i want to you know basically wait for her to block beat down the shield and then i can do some damage like right now i want to get her with a special uh two so we're just waiting for her and there look at that damage now, that damage would have been a whole lot better if he was ramped up, okay? But we're doing okay. You know, it's going slower, but then she caught me with that one. But I was able to back off in time, okay? And then here we go. Now, see, what I should have been doing is ramping him up in the beginning. I should have been firing off a lot of heavy attacks. So you're like right here, heavy. That's what I needed to be doing before I um, really went in. Okay? And I hate that. 
that auto block, it doesn't matter that I, you know, was trying to get my special one so I could get the, um, was it Vigilance or, or True Strike or whatever up? Yeah, she just auto blocked it. And I'm like, oh, man. And I'm regretting my choices, but anyway. Hercules can do the fight, but he is not who I would recommend for this fight. I would recommend Hulkling or maybe Gallon. That's who I, look at this. Messed up. Again. Because I didn't have the shield down. What was I doing? I don't know. All right, so now I am um, unblockable. But as you see, she fired her special off so that I wouldn't have uh, as much time on my immortality. And down he went. So that's that's how she did me. And I messed up. Um, I should have been able to, to get her down even so. All right, so we're just doing a little cleanup now with Hulkling. Who could have done this entire fight? Okay, he could have done this entire fight and probably done it faster. And Gallon, same thing, would have done this fight even faster. Okay, you don't have to worry about her power burn and her shield or anything like that uh, with Hulkling. All right, so that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Remember, Kitty Pride, not Penny Parker for your initial clear. All right. Take care. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And you all have a blessed day.